Good afternoon. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. You are so sorry for being late. My truest apology. Okay, sir, sir, shall we start now? Yes, we can go. No problem. Okay. Okay. Good, uh, good afternoon, all. I am Dr. Deepak Kumar, coordinator IHUB Sulnip and associate professor, School of Pharmaceutical Sciences. I have uh, we are organizing this uh, webinar in collaboration with I uh, in Sul School of Pharmaceutical Sciences along with Sulni. I have Sulni. This is a webinar on the ISTEM, the platform for research and for and funding opportunity. I I will just like to introduce I have Sulni. It came it came into its existence this June this year June which is supported by the IHUB the Vesampar Technology Innovation Hub, a joint initiative of the DST Government of India and IIT Roorkee. The role of Innovation Hub include the opportunities to collaborate on various aspects like identifying industries, relevant problems, and providing feedback as appropriate, promote product skill developments and technology transfer in the region, planning and jointly organizing conducting grand in uh, grand innovation challenges for Sulli University and other student of Himachal Pradesh and the neighboring est state in the cyber physical system identifying the startups in the regions and refer them for incubation and funding at I have the Vesam Park and in Sulni I have fu uh, funding opportunities grant from this in initiative towards the establishment of new startup engage as students and emerging scholars for innovative ideas in cyber physical systems in healthcare 4.0 industry 4.0 and smart city different scheme under this initiative includes trainings and awareness of the colleges universities school students about digital innovation scholarship opportunities for emerging young scholars from around himachal pradesh Today, we have with, with us our invited speaker, Professor Sanjeev Sir. He is the National Coordinator, Indian Science, Technology and Engineering Facility MAP, ISTEM, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. We welcome you, sir. And we, uh, we also had our, our Chancellor, sir, and our Vice Chancellor, sir, uh, Professor Atul Khosla, sir. We, we welcome you, sir. And our Dean, uh, Dr. Deepak Kapoor, we welcome you, sir. Now I'll I will like to hand over uh, this to our vice chancellor sir for his his remark. Well, thank you very much, uh, Deepak ji. It's an honor to be here today. Uh, Dr. Sanjeev Kumar Shrivastava, uh, welcome to this panel discussion. It's a uh, uh, it's an honor to have you be with us. I would like to add three things uh, to the uh, to the audience and to the panelists. I think the first is around the role of science and technology. So, uh, uh, Dr. Shrivastav, you went to IIT Delhi. I am an alumnus of IIT Kanpur, uh, and we ended up going to some of the best engineering schools of the world. Unlike when we were studying, and I think you and I would be the same age, the role of science and technology actually has dramatically gone up. The future of the world will be driven by science and technology, and more importantly, taking this science and technology to enterprises. So that's my first message. Uh, science, when I say it includes every field of science, whether it's uh, pharmaceutical sciences or biotechnology or uh, information sciences or data sciences or traditional technology, which was engineering sciences, all of that is adding up and making the world a beautiful place. So the role that science will have will be more important. In addition to this, uh, there is a confluence of mathematics and biology that's happening across the world. Uh, you're all aware about the COVID virus. It was, it came to market so quickly in a year's time rather than the 20 years that a virus would take because it moved from the lab to the computer. So the world of uh, pharma is changing, the world of biotechnology is changing, and the world of mathematics is changing. And the world and the role of science and technology is becoming predominant in this world. So the, I think that's the first message I'd like to give to everyone around. I think the second thought which I have is about the role of entrepreneurship 
and the role of startups and the ecosystem that's needed for entrepreneurships in this world. Again, like I said, disruption is happening. And when disruption happens, there is a phenomenal opportunity for everyone to either build a name for themselves or create money and wealth for themselves. So as you might know already, dear friends, there are 138 unicorns that have been established out of India over the last 10 years. We are the third highest generator of unicorns. A unicorn is an entity that is worth, or a startup that is worth a billion dollars. So that's give and take 8,000 crores. So there are 136 Indian startups that have been valued at more than $1 billion or 8,000 crores. Even if you think that there were 10 to 15 individuals involved with each of these startups in a significant way, there are at least 2,000 young scientists, young technologists, young bright men like you in this audience who've actually become multimillionaires. And I'm talking about someone owning 500 crores or 1,000 crores. That's a lot of money. 2,000 of them, middle class, lower middle class uh, children who were able to do this never happened in my days. So the world is about startups and entrepreneurship and not necessarily jobs. I'll go back, uh, Deepak Ji, to an incident when I was at IIT and I was joking with my brother on this. Starting your own business or starting your own company was not even in the decision set for us. Like we didn't even think that we can do it. No one spoke about it. None of my friends would talk about, let's do a startup. And I'm talking about 30 years back, of course. It's only started in the last 10 years. And in the last 10 years, you've had huge successes coming from many of the IITs, especially IIT Delhi and IIT Bombay, which have become hubs of startups. We need to create similar startups in smaller towns like Solon and Shulani. And success breeds success. I'll give a small example again over here. We funded a food startup called Chai Shack. And this startup has been very successful. Uh, the student who runs Chai Shack has now taken over the largest uh, mess or canteen at Shulani. And he's making actually three to four lakhs a month out of the startup. I'm very excited to say that I almost get a proposal every day to start a food-based startup at Shulani. There's a word called FOMO, fear of missing out. So once success happens, once role models are created, FOMO starts happening. Everyone around wants to be part of the same race because there's a fear of missing out, FOMO. So my second thought to all of us is, let's build an ecosystem of entrepreneurship, startups, startups everywhere, and startups happen through role models and inspiration. So that's the second thing which I'm mentioning. Third thing is about the role that institutions will play, the role that the government will play, the role that philanthropists will play in building the startup ecosystem. I spoke about India and I spoke about 136 unicorns. Let's look at the Silicon Valley. The Silicon Valley in the US, as all of you are aware, in California, has 10 times the unicorns of what were created in India. But more importantly, there are 1,000 or 10,000 more startups that you'll see in the Silicon Valley than you'll see even in Bangalore. Why is this happening? It's happening, one, of course, about FOMO, like I spoke about. It's an ecosystem created. But secondly, and most importantly, it's being driven by some of the universities over there. Stanford, you know, UC Berkeley, University of California, Berkeley, are the two prime drivers of the startup ecosystem. I genuinely believe that universities and institutions can play a huge role of being a catalyst to change the ecosystem around them. And this is not just the Silicon Valley. Let's look at the high-tech corridor uh, uh, in and around Boston. 
that's fueled by Harvard and, uh, and MIT. Let's go a little south from there. Let's go to the health core corridor, uh, which is driven by Princeton University in the US. Let's come to Asia. Let's look at the manufacturing hub of China that's been driven by Tsinghuang University uh, of, of China. There are numerous, numerous examples of universities delivering the ecosystem and building the ecosystem for driving change. We at Shulini are very proud that we aspire to build a similar ecosystem in and around Solon and in Himachal. We need to start dreaming big. Let's not just dream about five crore, 10 crore, two crore type of funding or startups. Let's start thinking about unicorns. The day there's a unicorn set up in Shulini, I'm gonna show you that every student Deepak of yours, which today wants a job, will want to start and do an entrepreneurial venture. So the role of universities will be very, very important. I'm very thankful to iHub uh, for giving us an opportunity. Uh, iHub is a great opportunity. So if there are students and others uh, listening to me, come with ideas. Come with ideas that are linked to technology. And I hope I'm sure will fund you for that. Anything is linked to technology. You're doing agriculture. We're talking about smart agriculture. We're talking about pharma. I already spoke about the fact that you're using computers to discover new molecules nowadays. You look at biotechnology, food, for example, your supply chains can be more effective with, with technology. Uh, another small example, a very dear friend of mine is now the CEO of Starbucks globally. Starbucks, as you all know, is one of the largest coffee chains in the world. And what would you call Starbucks? A coffee company? Possibly. A, a retail company? A coffee shop? Possibly. But when I spoke to Lakshman, who's a very dear friend of mine, and I asked him, what is Starbucks? He says, Starbucks is a technology company. And I was bewildered. I said, oh, come on, you're a coffee company. He said, no. We are using technology to ensure that Productivity of coffee goes up five times in areas that we've adopted. They are the largest consumer of coffee in the world. He's saying we're using supply chain and technology, converging that to ensure that the freshest of beans reach the different stores. And they have 100,000 stores across the world. They're using technology to ensure that every cup of coffee across every 100,000 Starbucks tastes exactly the same. And he's saying, I'm a technology company. So whatever your idea is, dear friends, whether it's around agriculture, it's pharma, it's around food, it's around whatever it is, there is going to be a huge role of technology going forward. And that's where I have comes in. And I'm again very thankful to Dr. Sanjeev Kumar Shirvastav. Uh, you're doing an amazing job, I'm told, at the ISC Bangalore. I'm a huge fan of ISC. Would love to understand more about iSTEM and iTech that you drive. And hopefully we can have a similar association with you and make sure that students of Shulani, why just students of Shulani, students of the ecosystem of Shulani, which includes school children, which includes uh, uh, students from Himachal or even Punjab and Haryana can come, come up with dis disruptive ideas, come up with new ideas, ideas that have not been tried and tested. And we go out and make them successful, hopefully a unicorn, and in the process, make the region rich, make all of you rich, and make India a country that it deserves to be, as our Prime Minister says, Amrit Kal. Uh, last but not the least, I would like to thank uh, all the great work done by our scientists, students, and engineers around patenting. Uh, this is for you, Dr. Srivastav. Uh, Shulini is one of the largest filers of patents in India. Every year, students and faculty file over 400 patents. And uh, uh, we want every student to file a patent. The importance of filing a patent is the importance of learning to problem solve. It's a journey that each one of you need to take, dear students, to ensure that you get that adrenaline, you get that kira in your head, and that passion in your heart to say that I can do it. I can also become Narayana Murthy. I can also become Vinny Bansal, or I can also become Steve Jobs to ensure that I want to change the world and I want to bring my ideas to reality. And the patenting your idea is the first step to that. 
After that, of course, you have to commercialize that once it's granted. And then it's about scaling up your idea to make sure that it becomes available to everyone around you. So once again, with these thoughts, I'll hand it over to you, Deepak. I'm looking forward to huge support from you, Dr. Shrivastav. And hopefully together, we can change the world, to change the world for a better place and make India reach Amrit Kaal, as the Prime Minister says. Thank you and uh, good luck and Jai Hind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your kind and valuable words, sir. Now I'll request Dr. Sanjeev Kumar Srivastava, sir, Chief Operating Officer and National Coordinator, Indian Science Technology Engineering Facility, MAP, ISTEM, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. He is also a Program Coordinator of Indian Technical and Economic Co Cooperation, IC Bangalore. Sir has done MTech and, and PhD from IIT Delhi, member of Indian Physics Association Bombay since July 1996. He is the ex vice president of Industrial Interaction Energy Forum Center for Energy Studies, IIT Delhi. Sir and his team have developed developed management software, architecture, algorithms, designs, and development of web portals from for Indian science, technology, and engineering facilities map. IUN project management portal to handle the external project from different organizations organization such as external academic national lab industries strategic sectors international <laughs> user sir has also developed research facility map with more than two 2800 equipment software information collected from 28 different states He has also done, uh, he has also developed indigenous software developed to handle the project execution purchase billing inventories iMantra softwares. About ISTEM, it is an Indian science technology and engineering facility map, which is a dynamic and interactive national portal, which hosts various scientific programs initiated by the office of the principal scientific advisor, government of India. India. The main objective of having this portal is to provide support to needy researchers in Different development ecosystem to fulfill the necessity of the people of the of the countries. Now we'll request Sanjeev sir to please have the inter uh, regarding the IESTEM. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Deepak, uh, for introducing. And uh, I would like to thank all the organizers and uh, Professor Khoslaji, Professor Deepak Kapoorji, Dean and R and D. So. I would like to say here, uh, earlier I was knowing little bit about the Soluni, but after the Dr. Atul Khosla remark, I came to know much more about that. And I was knowing only little bit about uh, the Soluni University because of your one of the students has joined us recently in ISTEM team for last two months. So just she has joined here and she keep talking about the Soluni University, but today after hearing you people are doing really great job supporting uh, researchers you have every year 400 patents this is really amazing and i i surely i'm amazed with this kind of work it really we have to do something there also and we should have really good association with that university first time i interacted with dr divya when she was doing phd and i was conducting one program under inup in nit hamirpur she was the first lady who started talking about the inup program sharing of the facility asked some of the grievances and I took from there we should have something in each and every university where people who are not having the facility at least can go to a nearby institution, get it done from the premier institution, whatever work they want to do. And she also came in INUP program, did a lot of work in ISC Bangalore. And after that, after some time, Corona over and I just found she is interested, then I took her in my team also. So with that, I know a little bit about the Solini and then Deepak Kumar came into picture through the social media. And uh, he started seeing the poster, what I keep sharing and he contacted me. I told, yes, I am ready always to do one talk for the Solini University. Whenever you are available, I am available. Let's have that one. With that, today this day has come where we are going to talk about this ISTEM program, which is really a good, good program. It's still not announced national program, but this is a national portal launched by the prime minister in 2020 on january 3rd so what we thought that time when i was doing phd sir you told you are from iit kanpur i am also from iit delhi even in iit delhi iit kanpur we keep hearing the problem of uh, resources 
where one student don't get when he go to other department lot of things are there which uh, we are going to talk and seeing those problems when i joined isa bangalore i thought why not there should be some mechanism where people can see what kind of facilities are available in nearby institution far away wherever they want to go and if that is uh, that they can uh, travel they can have that kind of option where they can conduct their r and d with that concept i started talking about this sharing of resources and uh, i started building some kind of mechanism when i was conducting the inup program inup program was like uh, we started very nice nano clean room facility at isc bangalore and iit bombay with support of ministry of electronics and information technology where we started supporting researcher to come to the system we were paying their travel we were paying their food everything under that program so that the person will not feel burden for coming to bangalore even everything except he has to carry his bag he don't have to carry any other things to conduct the research that way we started supporting and that was the initiation point for this i stem also when people were coming here we were conducting different level of the workshop like first you can come to understand what you can do in nano science and nano technology or material science then you have to come for the hands on training so when people were coming to the second level of training i started talking why you are coming from bengal or jaipur to bangalore just for one characterization work or small small thing even the facilities are available in nearby region people started talking about the restriction even we also face same thing in iit delhi or even other premium issues similar problems are there and it's not that ki people are not don't want to share but there was no such mechanism where people want to share and that's why we find the mechanism for sharing this portal later on we trademark the tag line what is called linking research and resources that is very good tag line which we are working around that and then we also even protected this ip uh, portal what mechanism we have put to share because we found that such a mechanism is not evolved anywhere in the world and that's why we filed many patents in various country also including the us so i will start the journey of i stem how we we did and what kind of benefits are there for researcher what we have and how we want to support so this is a portal which is having the database of the researchers uh, equ equipment what we have in in uh, premier institution or any institution you can say before that i will uh, i would like to acknowledge all the participating organization even line ministry of the science like including pmo ministry of finance mha everyone is part of this journey and this portal is very much having security audit where we don't want to uh, put the data in some open manner where people can hack those things so we have got it audited by one of the agency of st uh, ministry of electronics and information technology this portal was having the domain istem.gov.in just two year before we got this so because we were part of the government and this project is funded by office of the principal scientific advisor so we had everything and also we would like to acknowledge the association with the build desk you know a payment gateway which support any kind of transaction so we from first day had very good association with them and they are supporting at no cost to us also because of this national portal we are also offering lot of softwares where researcher will be unable to even researcher organization will be unable to procure those kind of software and these are very costly and painful even people say ki researcher has used the software which is the pirated so those kind of things were always in our mind when we started this kind of initiative and we wanted to have something where our researcher will feel good when they will do some research and some good outcome will come they will not feel burden ki they have used the pirated version and some good result they have got so those kind of things we started and also we learned from the corona period ki we should have some kind of customer care number where we don't have to go to office where attend the call on the landline where we can connect every uh, with the public through our mobile so we started the toll free number customer care number uh, care number all kind of option we have created and also we are in social media so that people will know about this kind of program whenever something government introduced through this portal so you know why such kind of things were started uh, every year you know indian science congress happen in the country last two year it's not happening because of the pandemic and in every conference our prime minister goes and talk about various things and especially on science and technology in one of the conference when it was happening in, in january 2017 in uh, tirupati 
our prime minister uh, narendra modi talked to the scientific community i think the problem was informed to him what scientific community is facing and that's why he gave a very strong message talking that building a strong science and technology infrastructure that is accessible to academia startup industry r and d lab is a priority of the government he mentioned that and he also mentioned about the problem why it is not accessible to those people who are not having so he talked that we no need to address the problem of ease of access how one can access how one can have the information maintenance of the equipment and i will tell you the data is that from the aict that 125000 equipments are lying idle because they are not having money for the maintenance so those kind of problems are there and it is because the government even earlier not talking about that to give the maintenance money and of course there is a redundancy and duplication of expensive equipment in our scientific institution because if i have really good relation with the public uh, government i can get one equipment two equipment in my lab but other department people cannot get the similar kind of uh, infrastructure so those kind of duplicacy create the prop burden on the government on, and especially on the imported budget r and d budget because they they cannot give to everyone and some people will have that uh, duplication so these kind of uh, things create problems so he told that ki the desirability of establishing professionally managed large regional center in ppp model housing high value scientific equipment should be examined he talk about that and also he mentioned one very good strong message he told we must create an environment of for sharing the idea and resources and that was the message in 2017 and we started building this software uh, of istem in 2017 october onward and uh, we were actually asked to get it launched by december 1st 2017 but that time we were not ready and finally we got it launched in 2020 you know in india if something you want to implement you have to issue lot of government order and i want to let you know ki every ministry including the ministry of finance has said the notification had in issued the notification circular so that people will come on board to the istem portal share their equipment list their equipment and share with the external user either people are from industry or startup or academia so that everyone can get equal chance to do the innovation to transfer the technology into the product kind of things so these kind of orders are already issued and and i think uh, people should must follow and come forward to share this one you know why such things are there just i have put one slide here the status of researchers and resources you know we have many we have nit we have icmr lab icr dst affiliated organization labs everywhere resources are there even researchers are also there but you you know problem is there that we do the research mostly in isolation and no desired connectivity exists between researchers and resources even the r and d facilities are underutilized and many equipments are lying unattended because of the many reasons and it's not that ki people don't want to share people have lot of limitation which we are trying to overcome through the istem portal so you know istem portal main objective is that to establish a robust e portal for the country to bring the transparency and accountability in the scientific institution A lot of things are there where people don't have equipment. A lot of places are there where equipment is there, but there is no manpower. If everything is there, but it is not shared with the people, so those kind of issues are there. So what we are doing here, trying to do, is that create a digital platform for listing and sharing of our infrastructure, our sophisticated analytical instrument. We are also developing another things that is called digital catalog, and that came also again. with the approval of the cabinet in february 2020 that we should have in our country some digital catalog where we will know which institution is doing what and i want to request your vice chancellor professor khosla ji if you are doing really 400 patent every year please list all those things so that other people will know what kind of technology you have developed and other uh, young researchers startup will get support from your people who have developed those kind of technology and we will also see how many you have things are transferred to the, the transfer to the industry so that we can send to the gem portal and other people will get benefit of those things so we have made really good digital catalog you will see the details what way we have done that and that is very much needed if if patents will go only with the patent authority and people will not know in public how many patents are there so that will not give benefit to the people who have really invented so those kind of uh, efforts may be required from your side also to list those kind of things 
Another thing what we are establishing to create a pool of skilled manpower and that is very much essential for the country. You know, whenever I talk to the people who are having the equipment, but they don't, they are running the equipment with the PhD student help. So they don't have those kind of support where they can get the funding even to hire the people. They don't have any kind of support there where they can get really right people to run those kind of equipment. So that is very essential for our country to develop the skilled manpower in the country. And we have initiated many things in that one direction also. Another thing what we are doing is to support the tier two, tier three and underprivileged institution to uplift the status of the R&D. We are also enabling R&D and innovation in, in industry and startup through you people only, whoever is having the expertise, we are trying to connect with those people, what kind of problem they are facing. So all those things we are trying to do. Also, we are establishing a model to create a culture of creating new ideas, innovating and translating innovation into the product needed for Indian society, thus being the India, a hub of technology. And I think Soluni University is really doing well. What you mentioned about the I have, I heard just recently from the Dr. Deepak, something is going on there. Also, we are trying to create the opportunity for skilled technical personnel who are engaged themselves, who want to engage themselves and become independent and creative assets for the country. So we are doing all those things and you know, we are also trying to connect people with the regional level. And that's why PSA office has initiated one initiative called City Knowledge and Innovation Cluster. They have built six City Knowledge and Innovation cl uh, Cluster in the country. One is in, of course, in Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, Jodhpur and Odisha kind of uh, cluster they have created where they are trying to connect with the local government, local researcher, local university and support them their idea what they want to do. So those kind of things are there. So in that way, ISTEM is a dynamic, dynamic in the sense government, whenever they th think is something uh, benefit is there to launch some program, they contact to ISTEM, ISTEM office and they try to put all those kind of things with the ISTEM so that a hub of scientists who are listed here can get the benefit, can get aware about the program, what government want to do. This is of course user friendly and initially developed web portal. We are not taking support of any external agency outside India. We are trying to develop and that's why we want to introduce even make in India concept and digital India concept in them so, to achieve the Atmanirvar goal, Atmanirvar Bharat goal. So here, this is the very important message, even your vice chancellor mentioned about this one, ki we academicians should take care of the country and really university and institution can take care of many things which is needed for our society. You know, I have just categorized the four problem in the country and I think everything is covered in this one, like researchers pain in getting R&D resources, that is a big problem in the country. People have, have the idea, but they don't know where to go, what to do, what kind of expertise is needed, what facilities needed. So these kind of problems are there. Also in our country, industries are also facing similar problem. They don't get technological or skilled manpower. And even of course, financial issues are also there for them where they are not manufacturing the product if you talk anyone, people try to pro, uh, get the product from outside and become the distributors. So we don't have that kind of industry. We are really working for manufacturing. Even our prime minister is forcing people. We should do make in India, make in India number one. Many campaigns are there like Startup India. But still we have not reached to that stage where we start building the equipment in our own country. And I want to tell you this kind of support we want to do through the ice time if someone want to come forward. Also the society need. Suppose we want to do something for the society, we have to identify the problem at the regional level and then we have to connect with the regional people who can make the solution. It's not that if suppose some problem is there in Himachal, Bangalore people will go and solve those problems. So we need scientific solution for the society need and of course the economy of the country is also very much important. Our government is talking about the 5 trillion economy, but we have to, we only academician can do these things. Nobody can do, even industry can think about the business point of view, but they also again need the academician to get the solution. So we academician can only do for the rise of the nation, RISE, I have just introduced in four term, and that is really need something for our country to take towards our Nirva Bharat. And it is request for every scientist, academician, to do the honest contribution to your nation by sharing R&D facilities, of course. So why such things are needed? You know, I just told that government even is talking about the problem. They are talking about the redundancy, maintenance. So limited resources are also there with the government, which cannot be provided to everyone. And of course, facilities are underutilized. And there are so many regions. One region is that 
we have we get the facility but we don't plan or even the government don't give the proper manpower to run the facility for next five years when the project period is there we always dependent on the researcher researchers when go to the lab he always have in mind ki i have to do my own research and then little bit i have to support but that support is not enough for getting the uh, for supporting the external researchers because they cannot support all the time so we need dedicated skill manpower in our system when we are establishing any r and d facility also earlier there was no information about the facility slot availability to needy researcher if i want to know today what kind of facility solony university is having no mechanism there i can know about those things and i cannot also know when it is available what time i can book how i can book how i can reach to the particular person so those kind of mechanism that is the lack of mechanism to provide such information was not there also coordination among the facility in charge in nearby even location was not there even people don't talk to one department to other those kind of things are missing coordination is missing and that's why we don't get information about the r and d facility what is going on how many things are there so those kind of problems are there also the lack of concept of sharing facility was not there and which people used to say even funding agencies say you have to share 80% facility or 20% facility but where it is happening in true sense it is not happening if i know you i can contact you i can get use of uh, i can uh, test my sample but if nobody knows you you cannot do that so that kind of problems is and also the mindset of considering himself or herself owner of the facility sometimes you see in the big institution and even the small institution when i purchase the equipment i will always worry about that one ki equipment should not go down only it should be first available to my students so ownership somehow they people feel where you know everything comes in the name of the director principal or vice chancellor or the registrar pi is the custodian even the institution is the custodian of those equipment or funding uh, whatever funding he has got and established the r and d facility so they all are custodian and we have also as uh, professor i mentioned homo here i say public fear in asking the accountability that we don't have he talk about fear of missing out but i talk about the public fear in asking the accountability people don't ask why you have established this equipment how many hour you are using so that question should come from the public i like researcher and we should not fear having the fear even in asking you whether can i use your facility or right to 10 people to use that facility so those kind of fear people have and only they worry if i will ask maybe he will be somewhere reviewer somewhere examiner something like that and he will damage that nothing will happen if you last 10 people i don't think that kind of mindset any scientist have so i think that fear should, should not be there of course the duplication of resources are also happening in the country some people are getting many resources some people are not having so even distribution is not there but we even it is not there we can connect with the istem portal and we can get use of those kind of thing and in the last you know when researcher have the idea if they don't get any facility or they don't get information the idea get lost and earlier what was happening nowadays anyway in digital era at least some things are expedited and government is also looking into that those kind of proposal but earlier when faculty were writing any proposal it was taking one and a half year to get the acknowledgement and the review where your project is there suppose the faculty member has got the proposal till that time he is having the student then he can execute the idea otherwise he was getting the proposal when idea get lost so those kind of problems were there and even suppose he will not get then he will think okay i should not write the proposal why i should waste the money uh, and time and uh, this one to write a proposal even i am not getting from the funding agency so people who are actually losing the faith in research and they are happy with the teaching yes i will go for the teaching i will not do those kind of things so those kind of things we are trying to overcome and we i want to let you know through the inop program including iit bombay and iic bangalore we supported 7000 researchers and also we supported more than 500 theses we supported we got uh, 45 to 50 patents through those kind of program and one good thing what we introduce is that people who are helping from iic bangalore at least i can tell you about the iic bangalore nobody should be the author of the outcome or whatever publication or patent is coming so that people will come without hesitation to us so those of conflict of interest we created so that people will not ask for the other say and people will also not uh, users will not also offer so those kind of things we put as a policy in our document when we were releasing the 
letter or invitation letter. So those kind of things we thought so that people will really come forward, discuss their problem and our people were faculty member were really supporting and we got 50 patents only from the INOP user and all were outside ISC users. So those kind of things we initiated and here in ISTEM also we are saying if you are sharing your facility, you are charging for that, please don't ask for this one so that the user will discuss with the problem with you in open mind and he will get the solution that will be beneficial for the country or society. So those kind of concept we are trying to introduce. You know, we have very good team here who is always 24 bars 7 connected with the public and help to this one. Even we have introduced many mechanism to connect with the people like we have done the, we have given the email ID, we have given the uh, social media, we have given the customer care number. And recently we also started to have the connect quickly concept like QR code we have given. You don't have to even add the number. You can just, uh, just uh, scan and drop the problem with our team in WhatsApp or Telegram and get the solution. So those kind of things are really working because nowadays people are following the key, this uh, WhatsApp, doing, they are not writing the proper message, but they need the solution. So those kind of concept we have introduced here. What is actually the ISM, what we are trying to do through the for the public, you know, here what we thought when we were doing the first phase, we were collecting the data and that time when we were collecting the digital catalog, Think we have invented, but further we don't have option to develop those kind of technology. We are not getting the fund. After some year, we have to change the uh, what is called the scope of the work, or we have to change the area of the research work. What we discussed with the government when there was a meeting, you know, PM STAC meeting happened uh, was happening earlier, and I think still it is going on. So uh, we were in, uh, invited in one of the meeting that was called 8 PM STAC meeting, and I was giving the presentation. There, we inform about the problem of the researchers, how researchers can be helped. And I demanded that time, ki researchers who are not having, not asking equipment, at least they should be given with the maintenance money, they should be given the consumable, they should be given the travel grant. So those kind of things we raised and that time, uh, uh, Dr. Shud, now he is the principal scientific advisor for the country and prime minister. He told hey, Dr. Sanjeev, I think we should uh, take care of these things when you write the next page after three years, you should consider those kind of things and a small budget equip so that you can just see how it works. If it will be successful, of course, government will follow those modules and we can think about those things. And when I wrote the proposal, I included those things and last year we got the phase two of the ISTEM proposal and we got sanction those kind of ideas so that we can support to the researcher. Here, what we are trying to do, suppose you have a faculty member, he is not getting initially any project because when he will go to the funding agency, of course, funding agency see a lot of things, whether his idea is working or just he is bluffing, it means people see in different way. What we are saying here, if you have any idea and you want to introduce those things, you need a small funding to just make a proof of concept. Please write two page proposal to us that is just inform about the technology, what you want to do, what way you, you want to do and what time you will take so that you can do something and then you go to the funding agency and tell ki, yes, I have got the ISTEM support, I have done this kind of research work and now I need funding to take it further. So that will really help. So we are we have started funding with who is working for the development of indigenous equipment, technical supply or any kind of research. So we are giving to the faculty member or any researchers who want to do those kind of things to make the Aap Nirvar and we have given the name Aap Nirvar initiative. Another things what we have given is the Kausal Bharat. So what we are saying if any university want to conduct any skill development course because ISTEM don't conduct anything. ISTEM can coordinate, can support because we are having the, we are facilitator and we are providing the portal. So we don't have any lab here. So we conduct with the, we coordinate with the various labs so that anyone can conduct such kind of skill development training for the country and various instruments so that in future we will have really good technologist operator and maintenance. Uh, we can have really good maintenance in our country. So those kind of skill manpower we want to create and that's why we are supporting any institution if someone want to do such kind of training for one week, two week and we have conducted three training in the country. First we started with the Dibrugar University and then we conducted in the IIT BHU and now we conducted Kongu Nadu College in Coimbatore and various equipment. They were giving the training what expertise they have and they were also bringing the trainer. So those kind of supports are needed. I will let you know how you can get the funding for that. 
Another thing is what we have, suppose you have a set of equipment and your university is having initially problem in hiring some people because of the various government processes, you can ask for us to get the one or two intern based on the number of equipment so that you can run your equipment and we can pay some kind of They can also work as a consultant for you and they can do some part time job so that your equipment will be always up. So those kind of program also we have initiated. Another thing is what we have initiated is the making the list of supplier and service providers. Suppose you someone has supplied one equipment and is not supporting later, but you will know which supply is supporting in other institute or you can also give some kind of rating so that other people will also not uh, hire that person in future. So all kind of accountability we can set. And good thing what we have done also is that when you are adding your equipment, you have to provide the information about the service and supplier provider. Like suppose your equipment is going down and you are marking one day the health, health of the status. Today it is up or today it is down. All those message will, once it is down, message will go to the supplier also and automatically system will ask. You have to contact because you have supplied this instrument. And in one way we can set the accountability with them because they are really supplier for our country. So those kind of connectivity, even it is made through the portal, you don't have to call, you don't have to contact every time. System will check whether message is gone, whether they are responding or not. So all the mechanisms we have developed of R&D infrastructure map where we are, are asking all the institution and even the notifications are issued to all the institutions, including UGC has also issued the notification to all the university to list the equipment, share, live booking you update, online invoice and payment also can be done. And here the workload on admin will be really reduced. What you are doing manually here, everything can be taken care of through this portal. And the things what we are doing is the listing of the R&D outcome database map we are making so that if anyone want to do something for the regional basis technology want to develop, they can find what kind of technology is there or what kind of research is done in their region so they can find those kind of information and connect with the local government, local public and uh, get the scientific solution. And one more important thing of course is the employment opportunity. What we are saying if every if anyone is trained in and uh, some technology want to get employment, they can list in the portal and even the institution can share the vacancy or want to find any uh, operator or any kind of uh, skilled man manpower, they can also visit to the portal, find those details, biodata and they can interview those people so that they can get easily the solution for the problem what they are facing in terms of skilled manpower. So a lot of benefits are there if we are really listing those kind of things, you know, Today, if you go to the, any institution and ask how many equipments are up, down, or how many uh, manpower are involved in operating, what is the usage strategy, you cannot get. But if something is listed, here the n number of login are created starting from the institute head, even the funding agency also can see what they have funded, how many equipments are used, what they have funded, what is the usage, everything they can see. So this is completely a transparent portal and every head of institution even can log in and find the statistic on each and every instrument if everything is passed through this portal, either internal booking or external booking. So it will work like live inventory of the equipment for the institution head. It's not that he need always the head of department or any, any operator help to get the statistics how many equipments are there in each system. And also it will create the transparency in the booking and usage statistics. And not only that, you know, when you get any project, currently there is no mechanism where you get the maintenance for the fund when your equipment is a project is over. So those kind of problem every institution had faced in supporting such kind of equipment, which is highly uh, high end equipment and uh, to get some money or instantaneous failure is there. So if you really plan from first day of the installation, you can generate really good amount of the fund for your equipment. And that will help for the maintenance and manpower support when your project term is over for writing the another project and that gap to be need to be filled. So those kind of funding will really help. We are also creating an expert bank like your researcher need. A particular domain. So we have created a year expert bank where more than 300 experts are listed and they are ready to help one to one where your idea will not also go outside the portal. You can protect those things and 
ask one by one that kind of question and get the support so if those kind of things will be there really fruitful research outcome will be there and it will create more and more startup uh, and also the job opportunity for the people and the things will be there if really we can help government in saving the economy for the imported budget what we are every year we are sending in purchasing the equipment just putting in idle in our lab so those kind of things will help government to give the consumable maintenance manpower what i told you and i want to tell you after putting that concern in one of the pm stack meeting we are really supported by the government and we are also supporting to the researcher at tier 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 2 tier 3 institution we don't require any kind of mechanism where they have to go to the various process for getting the fund so we are giving a small small fund so that researcher can get grown in their field and they can do the research what they want so just i want to give one example why such things are important if you just think the five transmission electron microscopy if we are going to avoid per to purchase in one year you know the basic tm cost is only 8 crore rupees and if you go for so one i am taking the just initial cost 8 crore and 5 tm if we can save by sharing the information by putting the right information to in the istem portal 40 crore we can save and that 40 crore can be given to 200 researcher in term of 20 lakh grant to each and that of course if faculty member want to do he can have the project assistant he can give the salary he can give the have the contingency he can have the consumable and travel also for three years so those kind of support can be given if really we can we are thinking about the economy of the country as i mentioned r i s e and that is the e actually where we have to contribute by putting the things in proper perspective and to proper support to any institution or any institution head not demanding too much which is not required and not uh, it, it is feasible to maintain even so this is the portal you can just visit where we have given different tab and it is well uh, well written all the guidelines whatever you want why it is made what kind of option you can do so atmanirbhar initiative is there where you can apply for the project uh, where you want to do some kind of indigenous equipment development or some material supply you want to develop like some, some powder you want to make for the research or you want to make the, some chemical consumable all kind of things you can do and of course we are going to support those kind of initiative if a small funding is required and not only that we are also reporting to the government that this kind of initiative one university has taken and further after completing this proof of concept of course I, I stem and those people will come together and tell that this person need funding. So we are going to support in that way also by convincing the government for the particular faculty member who has done really good job. We have initiated the Kausal Bharat, we have initiated digital catalog, supplier, service maps. So all these sections are very important. And another things we have started for the women also, especially which was launched on the teacher day this year so that women can get the benefit from the I stem and do something bit, uh, bigger what they want to do. So there are a lot of features here we have added in the portal. If suppose you want to search any equipment, there are a lot of advanced features you, where you can find the equipment within 100 km, 50 km. Those kind of advanced parameters we have set so that you will not have problem. And once you have decided, you can go for the pay online to use the desired facility if the, uh, if the owner want, uh, custodian want. So those kind of mechanism also made where you don't have to worry about the pay, uh, payment through the what is called demand draft or online transaction and all those things it is in, inbuilt everything and i want to let you know here we have made the facility where account of the custodian institution will be connected through the payment gateway and user can pay directly here iStem is not having any account to hold any money so those kind of things we have not even built here so that people will get immediately whatever they want to pay and they get the work done we have also made here option for online tracking of service request suppose you are generating any service request which is called here facility booking record like pnr number you can track the status of the your seat here you can track the status of the your request so all those kind of feature we have developed and of course we have given the guideline to use the portal very nicely carefully written guidelines we have given and we have initiated another thing to set the accountability every month whichever institution is registered we are sending the statement of account like credit card this month how much money you have earned how many facility you have added how many faculty you have added how many institute representative you have added all kind of kind of accounts detail we are sending to every 30th of the month or last day of the month so that institution also will be aware 
what my people are doing, what kind of uh, fund they have generated, which department is doing better, kind of things they can judge. So those kind of things also we have initiated and we are also giving lot of platform at no cost to any academic researcher and that is very much essential for any academic researcher to make a note that what kind of platform we are giving here. You can see just I have put some snapshot here. If you are searching any equipment, you can find the location of those equipment and map and then you can narrow down your search wherever you want to go. You can find those kind of details. As I mentioned, we have really good ISTEM support team and we have developed the QR code where just you can scan and reach to us within a second and you can get resolve your problem if something is very easy. <clears throat> We have also mentioned this portal in such a way you don't have to go and search many things because this portal is having a lot of opportunity and if you go one by one I think it will take full day so we have created many key highlights where you can go and easily you can reach to us or you can easily request further things what you need like you can see the last two options software services through iStem just you click whatever software we have launched through the cloud you can get access of those software at no cost. Also, we have given the option for funding opportunity and four or five kind of funding we have initiated where we have supported many one and if anyone from your institution, your university want to get such kind of support, not having any funding or, or there is a delay in funding even, even you have applied to the funding agency and not getting even you can apply for us, for those things through us. So if you are going to this, you have to just provide the data so that public will decide what kind of data you are having about the equipment and what kind of rate you have. So this kind of data will be in public so that people can decide where they want to go. So these are also available for everyone in public and they can see and then they can book the equipment what they want. This kind of booking calendar we have given where we have put lot of options so that you can see how many slots are available in the current situation and what is available. So here options are also given where user can make a request I can be available from particular month or particular date to a particular time but of course custodian institution will decide in the final uh, in allocating the slots when they were going to do the fi finalizing the slot. There is another option we have given contact operator so here we want to make in such a way user friendly you don't have to find the even contact number of the person you can just drop the message automatically it will go to the custodian institution or person who is assigned by the director or department head. The message will go okay there is a request from the user you have to answer so those option we have built lot of discussion forum we have given where one can have the discussion so what you have to do if being an institution for yeah and everyone will have different kind of role it's not that head of institution can see all the department department head also can see he can see his own department and then faculty in charge can see his own lab and facility coordinator. and like that we have set the hierarchy also and what we need is there to people to upload their logo and this logo is going to sit in the auto invoice and receipt which is being generated from your institution for the user so that your accounts will even not create problem. So option we have given for the GST, we have given for the ECS form what we need to integrate your account and offline and online payment option is also given. So this kind of options are built up in this portal so that user really will feel an ownership of this portal okay something I got into that one and even the institution we have given the macro site when they will open their page they will have with the, their logo it's, it's the public portal so they will feel that this is my portal. So those kind of options we have created. What we need if you want to share any equipment register here just a small information you need it like from which project you have taken what is the usage rate and if you want to put for our UOM also set unit of measurement which basis we want to charge or what category will be there like you want to charge less money for your internal student or external or internal or industry those kind of categories are already created and if in case you have any another cut another category that can also be created easily with the, our team that is not a big task for us the way we have made this portal everything our even admin people can do not the coding is required that way we have thought about and thus that small information is required where the location status of the health like up down and repair and make and model which is needed for publishing any paper so those kind of small information is required to share the facility and then you have to map the people who are going to operate or who are going to take care of the request so those kind of information is there and if required separate demo even can be conducted for any university anytime our team is always ready 
So what you have to do, if suppose you are sharing equipment, very easy job we are given and that's why I mentioned that actually reduce the job of the admin which you are uh, doing manually, taking to conduct any researcher request, it will happen in 10 minutes, it will not take too much time. So those kind of job can be, uh, load can be reduced if you are really going through the ISTEM portal. A lot of feature we have developed, I will not go into that one because once we will do the demo for your insert, we can explain all those things, how it will be really user friendly. What you can. So this portal is currently listed with more than 24,000 equipment and 1300 institutions have shared their users detail, their faculty member detail and their equipment and they are in part of this portal and they are in market here to share their equipment with the user who really need it until date more than 5,000 bookings had been done and 15 to 16,000 users are registered to this portal and they are making benefit of this portal so that they can conduct their research, they can get the idea of the technology which is happening in particular region and 650 technology products listed as a part of digital catalog, 350 publication, those kind of numbers are very encouraging after starting and you know only we got problem when it was launched in 2020 then we got the pandemic and that's why this number is little bit less but now it is shooting up when the lab is open. So very small steps one has to do if you uh, and uh, if you want any help our people will help you. These are the steps for any institution to start from registration to execute the research. So those kind of options are there I will not go into that one because these are the all detail nitty gritty required from your people who want to understand the mechanism how to support. So I just I want to mention here for any custodian institution that this kind of data you can get. Any head of institution want to see the particular equipment, how many samples are uh, samples are tested, how many machine hours is there, what was the downtime, what is the, how much payment is even received from the particular instrument. So those kind of statistics you can also get. Individual equipment, you don't have to worry about the person to come report or provide a data. And all those things you can also generate a report in the form of Excel sheet or PDF, which is required for the deciding the policy for the institute. This is very much important data for the people. This is a user guideline if any uh, researchers who want to make use of the portal and book any equipment across the country, just they have to go register in this portal and that is also secure registration OTP based. And uh, another things what we have introduced is the mobile based uh, login. So people can just register with their number and they can, they don't have to remember their login like nowadays every portal is coming. So mobile based login is there. You can check the availability of the equipment in nearby location and once you compare the rate, whichever uh, uh, people are asking or custodian are asking and one thing I want to make here note that we don't govern on the usage rate. This is the duty of the institution to take approval in their BOG or council or whatever board they have and then put the details of that equipment rate or they can also do the survey what other people are charging in nearby region based on that they can decide. So those kind of data we can provide if it is available with us. So people have to just fill the form and then get the PR number that is called facility booking regard and then they can contact the operator if required, clarify the comment if you want and then if you have to go with the sample once it is everything is ready on the day of the slot requested and then you can get the automatic invoice and uh, this receipt. So everything is automated. So you don't have to worry about anything. And then in the last, of course, if you are having the scientific report, patent, publication, you can report so that you can get the really good visibility and you can get the good citation. And also people will know about your research, what you want to do, what you are doing, what kind of work you have done. All kind of things will can be shared in this portal. So here I want to tell you these are the funding opportunity for any researchers. You can see here we have given option partial support to academic user, startups and custodian. These are the options available. Even the skill development training you can conduct and there are a lot of benefit of conducting this one. You can train to your researcher. You can also bring outsider to train, create manpower in the country so that your region people will really get job across the country once you train. So in that way you can support to the society also, those people who are having the and bring them, conduct the training for them to be trained at this and we want 
take the support from us or even you can do on the charging basis you can charge them if you want to conduct some kind of a training so those kind of things you can initiate in your region so that people will know about university expertise your faculty expertise and what you have and they can get connected with you and you can generate manpower that manpower can serve to a to whole country wherever labs are there but people are not there so you people can go there and work so those kind of job opportunities can be created and of course if any researchers of any faculty member is not having contingency fellowship or any kind of support he need of course they can write to you us and we can support them so that they can conduct the research project and support a catalytic grant we are not the funding agency so we cannot give the advance but of course people can spend the money and send the bill and we can clear those bills so with that way we have supported 35 projects 35 projects are already in the country supported and people are doing good research work and i want to let you know from those 35 people are doing really good job we started this year in march this kind of support because last year we got phase 2 and we set the mechanism and by march we launched this kind of options funding opportunity option and till date in 6 month five patents have been filed by those researchers who were not even thinking about that ki and and that support is not up to more than not is it is more than 1 lakh rupees so those kind of support is really helping to tier 2 tier 3 institution researcher if anyone is interested from the audience or anyone interested from sulun university they can write to us and we can support those kind of researcher and good thing is that the software support we are giving okay you can see here the digital catalog how people have shared their technology like patent publication and these are the really good uh, the information where people who want to enter into r&d they can go through that what research they want to do so this digital catalog is helping in many ways to the researcher this is helping many ways to the startup industry they are finding even the ministry is finding through this digital catalog what kind of technology there where they can set up something for the country so i will request to your university to share whatever publication patent and uh, this one there we can put a person from our side to coordinate so that you can help get help and you can uh, fill those details and people will get to know about your outcome what you have done so we really will be uh, grateful to you if you come forward for this kind of things you can see here the data from part of the country people have shared this is this is the patent publication and i want ki himachal should come forward and especially your university so that we can have really good number from that place also so another good things what we have started is the supporting the researcher with the various software and this is the comsol software you know it is very costly software if one want to put in their lab i i hope every dean of r&d will be having trouble in purchasing those license for every researchers and i think we thought about this one that after the corona that people were not going in lab at least if they will have the access in their home they can do the research and that time you know if any researcher don't go in lab they will always have stress ki i could go in lab and that time it was not allowed so we thought ki we let talk to the vendor and bring this software in and put in a cloud based manner so that every researcher sitting in either up bihar himachal wherever and what he need is the internet connection and the laptop that's it because this software costly every institution cannot bear those cost what is required to establish so we have launched this software and we are giving access to any academic researcher especially the academic researcher because we cannot give, give to industry and startup because of the mou but any academic researcher can contact to us and it will not take more than 30 minute to get the access if he has filled the form and provided the academic student id card details or some kind of verification either letter from the institute head or something like that he is the valid student and we have shared almost every state you can see the down one uh, graph we have given starting from andhra to west bengal we have given the access to all the academic researcher and till date more than 1000 people are using these licenses at no cost and this is all the licensed version so people don't have to have fear of the pirated version also and this way this is a big initiative and we are bringing every day we are talking to the vendor how we can bring more and more software so that our researcher will not have that kind of uh, worry how they can get access of that can otherwise you even you will find in iit people who are having five license third, 10 licenses here we have one set up license two set up license and we are serving to the country it shows that this license what we are getting at the institute level is not being used properly 
24 bar 7 but once you put in the cloud it is being used by any person who is who is part of india and academic researcher at any time so i have not felt anywhere i have not got any complaint ki people are not getting slot where we have just two license for the console and one license basic for the console and even matlab also we have only 25 license and we are serving to whole country lab view we have more than this one because this is required longer term for the youth so 100 license we have taken here and in that way we are helping the country so you can see all these details are available on the portal what kind of model in comsol we have taken almost all the model which is required for civil engineer chemical engineer physicist or any material scientist all the modules are available and if you want more than one model two model even we don't uh, bother about that one and we give the access our people are very much in this field to provide you access as and as early as possible so those kind of options are there you can see here the lab view software all the modules are there and similarly in the math works whatever modules are they are having they have given the access so these kind of things are available to the audience if anyone researcher want to use they can use one uh, just i mentioned the waste platform women in, in engineering science and technology we have initiated this platform this year on the teachers day and we are trying to help the researcher women researchers who are scientifically inclined towards the snt and want to do something big or want to bring the girl student even that platform is open and we have created a digital consortium like whatsapp and telegram group where people can join by just scanning the qr code and come into the this one group and do some contribution towards the country and also if they need any kind of project help or they need any kind of support from the group we are also making those kind of things another things what we have made you know for the researcher need they need the technology support what we have created the users group in whatsapp and telegram the all the console user are in a group where they share their problem if some expert is there they answer those query so those people also get the technical support who want to get those kind of thing or any student is having some problem they share their problem get the solution so we don't need any kind of we don't face any kind of problem in solving the scientific solution this one problem and we don't face any kind of things where we need support from the supplier also so those kind of consortium we have created and which is really helping a lot to the young researchers and the even the faculty member who are interacting sometime write to me i was really happy to share the information what i have or solve the problem of the particular user what i can do so those kind of help is really needed in our country and apart from that what we do here is to conduct the uh, series of the talks and that we do on every tuesday and thursday today there will be 330 day talk where we explain about the iSTEM portal, different module, how you can access, what you can do. And we take the question from across the country. People will get connected at 3.30, that is like fixed channel, we have given fixed link are there from the Cisco web platform. And people connect with us, try to talk about this one, get resolve their problem in this Tuesday talk. And Thursday, what we do, we invite the technical operator of the institute for the particular lab so that he can share how he manage the lab how he want to see the specimen with when it comes to come for the testing so those kind of training we are conducting until date i think we have conducted more than 25 technical talks and all the materials also we put in the youtube through the, our portal so that people who could not make it at 3 30 can also again go and view those kind of things so a lot of information is there those who want to do like experiment in TEM, SEM, NMR. So all those kind of information are also available and we keep conducting these kind of talks so that young researcher or even people who really need some kind of guidance in explaining the result can go through those kind of uh, talks and understand and even they can also consult those people individually through iSTEM portal so that those people will really can make contribution toward the nation. And one more important slide what I have put for every faculty member of the, any institution and this one, how to generate fund to maintain our scientific and engineering lab. Because people really face the problem when they get the uh, equipment, but they don't get the fund from the institution because institution also cannot provide fund to everyone. So to maintain those kind of things, if they really plan from the first day of the installation, they start contributing towards nation, calling the people from various institutions where those facilities are not there, sharing their expertise, sharing the equipment on the payment basis from the first day of installation, they can really generate one.
in next three year or five year of the project till the project is having the fund and after that those fund can be used for the maintenance and skill manpower so this slide is very much important for those faculty member really having the good postdoc information postdoc knowledge and then good research in their career so they can distribute their among people really who need it like people really don't know what kind of expertise you have unless you don't call for a webinar seminar or some kind of workshop so these kind of things are very much essential to share the knowledge and as our prime minister mentioned i have shown in the first slide we should create an environment of sharing the idea and resources and that is the very good option for any faculty member to conduct such kind of workshop and i want to let you know this cisco webex platform is available at no cost to any faculty or any researcher who want to conduct such kind of training so you can call 1000 people through this portal and conduct the training uh, online or offline so you can get the credential at no cost this is also available for any academic researchers and as i mentioned we have also uh, keep inviting the in proposal from the startup academician until date we have supported three startup 35 projects where we are giving the fund and people are really doing good kind of work for the research and these kind of softwares we are supporting and we are now bringing trying to bring the software like and also indigenously developed software for electronic vehicle battery and yes we are launching a platform on 29th of this month at 3 to 4 if anyone is interested please join this platform is very much essential for those who are working on the image analysis so this is also coming at no cost and this is developed by the car company who supply the lens edge acm tm kind of equipment so this one we are conducting this month this launch we are having at three o'clock if anyone want to join please join and get the benefit of this kind of program and this kind of initiative taken by iSTEM. with that i would like to thank everyone who is part of this and also especially the organizer who is this one here and audience who have given their time at this one at 11 30 and listening me so please take the benefit and if you have any question you can ask me by introducing yourself so that i can answer thank you thank you thank you so much sir for such informative and information regarding the ISTEM as well as the funding opportunities available through the uh, through the ISTEM this this will uh, really benefit the researchers faculties and the students and they can make use and more use of the ISTEM problem. ISTEM. I would just like to add a couple of uh, thoughts, Naomi, Dr. Deepak, and Dr. Jeev. Please. First of all, uh, congratulations on this wonderful work, Dr. Shrivastav. I think it's spectacular. I will, I'm going to share a few statistics uh, which came to me through some friends at Harvard, and I've been speaking about this for the last couple of years the average utilization of scientific equipment in the world I again repeat the average utilization of scientific equipment in the world is yes. around 20 percent 80 percent of equipment is not used yes, uh, and lies idle uh, and then when i'm and if we expand this to assuming that uh, scientific equipment can be sweated 24 hours a day because it should there is so much capital sitting over there then basically only 5% of the time equipments are being used. So one is, uh, uh, I'm going to request uh, two things from Sanjeev sir. One is, uh, I would truly, truly Shulani, so Deepak, if you could coordinate with uh, Sanjeev sir, and we yes. should show the wonderful infrastructure that we've built at Shulani. Uh, it's a small effort from a private university, but we are, uh, we are in the process of acquiring. You spoke about STEM, we are, we are, right? So we are, we are getting that uh, 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 translational microscope, electron microscope. We are uh, probably uh, a month away from that. But uh, uh, I think the the important uh, the important thing is, uh, like I've always always said, Dr. Deepak, more the collaboration. And it can start with the equipment, but scientific minds, when they come together, they produce way better research. Two plus two is 22 and not four. We all know that. Uh, it also helps in citations, uh, Sanjeev sir. So uh, if, if you're publishing in, in, uh, in collaboration, you'll see your citation index to be not increasing by a factor of two, but by an exponential factor. So if there are two people, then it's raised to the power two. If there are three, then it's raised to the power three. Everything goes up, whether it's H index or 
uh, citations for publication or whatever. Uh, so it's it's a no brainer for universities and institutions. It's a no brainer for academicians because their citations and their personal wealth increases. Uh, and I think it's a win-win for the nation. Uh, so that's the first thing, sir. I would request a visit from your end. Uh, and uh, Deepak, please coordinate that. Yes, I'd love to, I would personally love to come to Bangalore and, uh, and spend a day with you to understand more in detail what you're doing. I think that's the first thing. The second thing is next steps would be uh, if, if your presentation that you gave us, if that can be shared with uh, Deepak, I would like all my faculty to uh, get hold of this. I've already written a note to the faculty who might have seen that Deepak that we should all be part of uh, iSTEM. I think it's a wonderful thing. Uh, yes. If we can get the presentation from uh, Dr. Shrivastava, yes. I'll that. I would also encourage you, Dr. Deepak, that I think a lot of the people in this participants in this uh, interaction are probably pharma students and faculty. Uh, I think uh, we should expand that uh, to across the university. Uh, I'm also part of uh, certain consortiums. Uh, for example, I had North India for SOCHAM, uh, 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 education for SOCHAM for North India. Uh, I volunteered to take this to other fellow universities, the 18 universities of Himachal. But very quickly, Dr. Shrivastava about Shulani. We are a deeply research and innovation centric university. We are very proud of our genes. Uh, we work very closely with multiple uh, government sponsoring agencies, including uh, DST, DBT, DRDU, and likes. We also have some FIS grants uh, at Shulani. We have amongst the highest uh, H index of any university established after. 2009, our H index is actually 96 as I speak. Uh, if you benchmark IT, Monday is 44 uh, and is a an year older to us. Uh, we have amongst the highest citations per publication in India. So we have a citation per publication of 15. Uh, more than 60% of our research work uh, through publications are through international collaborations. And you already are using a lot of uh, what you spoke about internationally. And I think it's time that we start collaborating more nationally and in India, uh, especially in, like uh, Sanjeev sir said, leveraging our resources, equipment, and also some of the facilities that we have. For example, we have a, a, a very significant facility on food testing, uh, uh, which is sponsored by the Ministry of uh, Food Processing and Agriculture. And uh, we've already started offering this to neighboring institutions. And I think we should leverage your uh, your facility uh, for that, uh, with iSTEM for that. So uh, we've recently done two Stuti programs, uh, one uh, uh, encouraged by Dr. R.C. Sobti, uh, who's from Punjab University, ex-Vice Chancellor, and also now advisor. That is also here, sir. Sir has also just joined. Sir, so, welcome, sir. So, for one hour, I'm here. Wonderful, wonderful. Welcome, sir. What a wonderful uh, discussion. And uh, so, absolutely. So, uh, one of the things you've given me three tasks, Dr. Sobhati. The fourth task I'm going to give to both of us is about saying uh, leveraging uh, infrastructure, scientific infrastructure across the country uh, for better research. I think uh, we are a small university, but we can be a role model. And if we do well, I think others will follow. So our role will be uh, to, to demystify and, and understand how these networks can work. And then together with uh, iSTEM, we can, uh, we can create some protocols and enhance the engagement in a, in a better way. So anything that's needed from Shulani, uh, Dr. Shivasta, will be, we'll break, let's put it this way, we'll break all walls all mountains and all boxes. So let's break the box and, uh, you know, uh, this is so exciting. I can't tell you how excited I am listening to you. So uh, I'm going to hand it over to probably Dr. Sobhati for his one or two minutes of comments, and then we can go back to the program. Over to you, Dr. Sobhati. Thank you. Thank uh, you very much. Dr. Sanjeev, for making you, a wonderful sir. presentation and explaining that how you are taking a holistic view of uh, supporting the research and development in the country by engaging all the people who are interested, especially the youth. Now the question is, I know Shulin University has all the potential, as has been mentioned by um, Mr. Atul, who 
with a vice chancellor of this university. Of course, we have a chancellor, Dr. Kosla, also, uh, who is active, who had been active researcher in forestry, coming from botany, going to forestry, was a remarkable. Now, my question is, now, how to start with it now? See, Dr. Atul has mentioned that we want to join your group. Okay, let's uh, have a synergist view how we can uh, have a symbiotic relationship with uh, your uh, concern and the university. Of course, this university has a potential to become a nucleus in the, uh, not only Himachal, but in the North India itself. Because you should see in the total North India, including the central university, including the uh, government universities, we are, they are doing very fine because their uh, citation and everything is quite good. So, and just 10 years old. See, I was the vice chancellor of Punjab University Chandigarh for six years. Then for six years, uh, BBAU, uh, Central University Lucknow. Then I advised her to go to Bihar for one and a half year. So I have a holistic view, but the way you are presented, of course, we had uh, uh, the uh, USAC, et cetera, in Punjab University also. And you have expanded that uh, proposal in a bigger way to have a holistic view, holistic development for make a Atam Nirbha country. So now my question is, let's have a beginning. We have to start now, okay? So we have, I'm listening to your lecture. It's very, very optimistic and uh, uh, what I can say, uh, ambitious also. But we have to make the, you have made a good beginning with 35 projects or something like that one. Now, how to make this a reality? With the, see, our university is located in such an area which has a lot of potential. Particularly, uh, Deepak is doing a wonderful job and we have a sort of biodiversity also which can be exploited for drug development, all those, because we're going in that direction also. And other areas also, it can be done. See, we have a very strong agriculture over there, pharmacy there, and biotechnology coming up. Of course, we have a physical sciences there. Now, I just want to know for how to, from where to make a beginning. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you for nice comment, sir. I would like to just tell you what we can do here. I think Sulun University is now registered. I will check with the data or, or we can do that it will not require more than five to 10 minutes. But we can initiate with various things. What we can do is the, we can create a virtual center for the ISTEM there. Okay. Yes. Where you can, you can coordinate with other stakeholder and you can bring more people because we cannot do here everything sitting in Bangalore. We need also people who can take the message to various part of the country. So we can announce one virtual center in your university like we have done in IIT Hyderabad. I have done in IIT. We, uh, we won't mind. We won't mind. Yeah. yeah so. No, but we can have a hybrid mode also. We can have a hybrid mode also. We lost. Uh, we lost uh, Dr. Shrivastava. Oh. We can initiate. That is one thing. We can no, also can, look. Can't we have a hybrid mode? Yes. Yes. Hybrid. Yes, hybrid. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, some people and, can come from nearby yes. places, such as from Delhi or somewhere, and uh, from Bangalore and South, we can have a, you know, the virtual one. So we yes, can yes, discuss, yes. because you may have virtual anything, but what you can discuss physically, it's not uh, that way you can do that one, because you understand each other's body language and that what is going on in the brain, in the thinking, because we need a brainstorming sessions for such uh, ventures. Yes, yes. And another things what we can do is to start uh, identifying some of the module, training module where we can invite people who are unemployed, youth unemployed, having the degree, but not the student, currently registered student, because we, in our program, we say researchers and other things you can do through your institution, but those people who are already out from the system, how to bring them in so that they can become really good technologies, operator and maintenance provider right. kind of really thing. Right. We can conduct. And I want to let you know, sir, we have here Center for Nanoscience Engineering, ISC Bangalore, very good uh, fabrication facility we have. And we have uh, put those kind of people in the system. I can tell you people have come from the Polytechnic Diploma ITI and they are really good operator for the machine. They cannot do the good research, but they are really good operator and tool operator. You even 
I can tell you, I am not aware about that particular system, even I have done the research, but they are knowing about that tool, how to maintain and they treat like their own baby. Okay, so those kind of things comes when you involve such kind of people and those people will not go for higher end research, they will be always with you or they will be available in the country, right? So they will be really good asset for this one. If we do training for JRFSR, of course, he will think about the other kind of postdoc and other thing and he will leave after the training. Of course, those kind of training is also required for that person, but we need skilled manpower for our lab who will be always with us and our tool will not be always underlying or unattended or something like that. So we can create those kind of things for that. You can initiate skill development training and we can support at least one or two training and then you can create a model by charge basis that, that, or something that, like that. that so I think that, that will be great. Many such that, kind that of That will be great. Yeah. Deepak, we can yes, think sir. of this. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll ask, it. sir, to means of the offline mode, he will come, sir. And then we can discuss yes. more of these okay. things, sir. And, and also, sir, yes, yes, please. I, I would like to introduce R.C. Sophie, sir. He, sir, sir was the vice, uh, ex-vice chancellor yeah, of uh, Punjab don't, University. Don't, don't waste Punjab time in these Medical things. University. Don't waste, don't waste time. Yeah. We yes, are, we are, I, we told him. I, I have heard about, sir, in Punjab University, I know. <laughs> we, I'm connected with Punjab University also, sir. Yeah, I know yes. you must be with the RCC. Yeah, with the RCC. Yeah, I know. I yeah. can. Just, we had a Stuti program with, with them. Okay, but okay, let's, okay. Uh, let's make a beginning uh, of a uh, some sort of a you, virtual meeting, sir, sir. Uh, hybrid yeah. meeting, and also the training program. Uh, yes, calling yes, experts yes. so that our students, JRFs, or young faculty gets a training of that one, and they can think of some new projects. Uh, coming out of that training and then yes, we yes. can I, I was coming to that also yeah yes so we can do that and uh, sir here it's not that i am working for the researchers and i try to get maximum problem or whatever things they are facing to bring into the knowledge of the government whenever i meet yes. because i go to the various ministry and just two days before we are having the review meeting of this project in iit delhi and I put the problem of maintenance money and you know, I keep writing to even the secretary and other people and even the social media and everywhere. And I want to just, this is not the, this one message, I just want to tell you, government has started thinking in that direction or now, okay. And I think it will come that people will be asking how much maintenance money you need to handle the equipment or keep live your equipment it's something like that that comes shortly i think that's a wonderful wonderful initiative instead of giving a new equipment that's a wonderful initiative yeah because we Just create the, days, we create the infrastructure yeah. two days before i came to know yeah two days before it was uh, told in our review meeting sir what you have put the problem of the so i put a list of problems of the researcher and custodian Ki these kind of problems are there. Even people have the instrument, how they will run. They don't have manpower. They don't have maintenance if any part is getting failed. So those kind of things we talked and I came to know that already government is thinking and I think something will come shortly. That's and you are talking about the Istuti program. You know, when uh, pandemic was there, I started this talk to expert series where in, we are not inviting to professor. Of course, they do go in and meet in the conferences, but we invite the tool operator of the lab. We try to contact IF lab people. So we keep conducting those kind of talks. And in one of the talk, one DST person was attending and he came to know that this is very much important. And that's why this Istuti program came, sir. I want to tell you the journey of Istuti also. Oh, this way, that's great. Thank you, sir. That's <laughs> so, so it emanated so, from your brain. Yeah, so we, we are saying government, ki, yes, we are trying to set the model, even project what we are supporting to researcher, we are saying ki, government should directly connect with the researcher, forget about the institution aid, forget about the faculty members, sometimes people don't come because a lot of pressure will be there from the faculty or institution or a lot of restriction. Why not we should talk one to one to with the researcher and I keep conducting this kind of review when people submit the proposal and 35 has come just in six months and we have supported 35 people with not more than one lakh rupees sir. But that is helping. Five patent I reported in the review meeting. Five patent. I saw. I heard that. Innovative work in electronic people are 
electronic electric waste and you know sir the outcome came from Congo Nordu College from Coimbatore that kind of college is giving outcome I'm not talking about the IIT IIC of course they are here to I give the outcome you. but I'm talking about the talent what I, we have in the this kind of colleges okay so I met a teacher just two days back I met a teacher from a school in Punjab yes, sir. And he's doing okay. a wonderful work on honeybee itself. Sir, we can support we can support if he need any kind of funding. Yeah. A small scale funding, if he need, we can support. Okay. I Anytime just met him can in one of the me. conferences at Shimla. Okay, sir. Okay. So please guide them and please inform I them. Think we we are will. Here to help. Yeah. I think we'll soon uh, soon be soon be in touch with you and yeah. uh, be an active partner of your program. And uh, yeah. really try to make a, this solely used as a nucleus for such type of programs. And, uh, and, uh, and, and your presentation that, was yeah. very elusive, very exhaustive, and I could uh, understand in a much better way. So it was a really good congratulations for taking you, such sir. initiatives because country you, needs such programs. Yes, sir. We need and such I, I, because yes, we sir. have so yes, much sir. young minds. They are full of ideas. But they don't get a pad and opportunity. We have to provide opportunity. That's yes, why sir. I have joined them. Because at this Thank age, you. You. Uh, what you, I can sir. do, I can just give back to society what I got, I got maximum from this society. Yes, yes, sir. That's why you I'm know, sir, recently our PSA, principal scientific advisor, launched the LabVIEW platform. One day I invited him. I know him very well. I know him so, very yes. well. Yes, yes. So he told Dr. Srivastava, can we make the expert bank? He used the term expert bank. And people like you, if they can connect through this portal, just you have to get the message, I means login credential. And if someone wants in your domain, you can help. That will be really a great help. So we, we have already initiated. And then I inform him, we have 300 people already connected with this portal and they are ready to su support and people are not like professor only even the btech people have come forward i want to help in this domain i have some expertise i have maintenance expertise of the in some particular instrument and we are trying to send those people also so those kind of things we want to start through That's this right. portal. i'm also enthusiastic now the list, after Thank listening you. to you, you i'm also enthusiastic Mm -hmm. Sir, please, please uh, register and uh, this is simple mm -hmm. five minute registration will take time. It will not take too much. If anything we'll is there, that. you can just write to us and we will help you. We'll do that. Okay. And uh, third thing, sir, what we are thinking, another really good initiative we can start. I keep talking, it is not happening still. And But still, Bhartiyar University, I was there last to last week and the vice chancellor told me I am going to start. That is the collection of outdated equipment at one place in somewhere in university. Very you know, right, yes. very right, very right. And what I am thinking, ki, let's employ the IIT, I, sorry, ITI diploma people who are passing out from the various institute, ask them to come, maybe some stipend we can pay initially and ask them to come and open those instruments, make a library and accessory, put on those details on the iStream portal. Suppose I need for some instrument, my instrument is down because of just one lens which is not available and again supply is saying you have to purchase, you have to send to this scrapper. Why we should send to the scrapper? Why not you should use if you have in your library and I can borrow and put in my machine and get that 8 crore machine up. So those kind of waste to wealth concept we want to start everywhere and I am thinking if your university can start. This is a good idea a because these machines go out in a year or so and we, sp we don't find the spares. So, but we yes. can use some of space for other machine. It would be good so, also. Yes. Yeah, so that I want to do through Kausal Bharat scheme. If someone can do that, this kind of, and not only this one, even you can train the people how it is built up. So you can create a really nice course for operation and maintenance. What we are waiting for six months from various uh, country. Okay, once he person will come, then he will correct the my machine. So six months you are waiting for that person. And you know, once the, you are purchasing, purchasing equipment, they only come when we they get the most uh, six, seven orders from the country, right? They don't come for individual because their cost will be more than that one. And also another thing, it is a burden for us or our government, we pay six time airfare for one visit, right? Yes. They charge everything in name of a technical consultancy. They don't charge airfare. So if they will charge an airfare, then it can get clearly only one time. 
for that bill but they charge six time for one small problem if they visit for that one so those kind of things we can save a lot sir so those things are also required if your university can initiate and become a role model for country let's uh, let's move ahead mm -hmm. soon here because i am coming tomorrow yes. to the university and i'll discuss okay, with deepak and vice chancellor yes, and we'll see what we are, where we can start and be a part mm -hmm. active partner of your program mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Sure, sir. Sure. The vice I, I think, uh, uh, Sanjeev, sir, great uh, issues start with meeting. So, like I said, we'll request Deepak to invite you over, and we'll come over and meet you. And uh, just like I see this is the same example I would be did with IHub Rurki, ID Rurki, where you know we set up a center here, and that's what I think Dr. Swopti was indicating. We should definitely do within the confines of your mandate, either a hybrid or a virtual, and do it beyond Shulami. I think our role will be be your hub yes. in this part of the country, uh, and and help you and be yes. the central yes. university. This will go to us. So uh, I think that's what I would say. And once again, thank you. I really need your presentation because I would like uh, Deepak to yes, sir. Do another yes, meeting, uh, either with you so or with one of your colleagues, or just us. We will take this message to all our researchers, uh, Sanjeev sir. I will say immediately after this uh, session. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I need to beg leave. I'm very sorry. I have another meeting to go to. It's okay. It's okay. But thank Thanks you very much time. for this, and thank you, Deepak and Dr. Sopi for participating. Please continue. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. 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 Okay. Sir. Thank, yeah. thank you so much. Sir. question is from audience, we can ask them to just raise their hand and ask any question because they are the important part of such initiative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, sir, I will assign one person especially for contact point from my side, but of course, all the team is with you people if you want to do anything. And uh, I can connect with the people who are handling the digital catalog, who are handling the projects. So all the people will be part of this uh, this one, and they can connect with Deepak or if you can assign okay, any sir. other more sure. person, we can do that one. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Okay, sir. Thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you. Thank you thank so you, much, sir. sir. Now, sir, I think uh, most of the queries has been given by your answered by your team, sir. Uh, in the chat box. Okay, I think now, yeah, I saw some chat messages yes, already going on from my team. Yes, yeah. sir. Now I request our uh, dean school of pharmacy to give the vote of thanks to sir. Thank, thank you, Dr. Deepak. Thank you so much. So first and foremost, uh, I am thankful to Dr. Sanjeev Shivasta, who is nodal coordinator of ISTEM ISC Bangalore, for delivering a wonderful talk and uh, informing us about iSTEM uh, and I'm sure that all the participants and the students and researchers they will be benefited by this iSTEM program uh, and then I'm thankful to our Honorable Vice-Chancellor of Shulni University, Professor Ratal Khosla uh, for sharing his views uh, and indicating the importance of entrepreneurship, startup and role of institutions in establishing these uh, startups. Thank you so much sir. Uh, and I also thank Professor R.C. Sopti for joining us and uh, sharing his views also. Thank you so much, sir, again. Uh, and I'm thankful to the Office of the uh, Principal Scientific Advisor, Government of India, for initiating the iSTEM program. Uh, and I thank Dr. Deepak Kumar, uh, who is coordinator of iHub Shulni University, for taking this initiative and organizing uh, this webinar. Uh, and last but not the least, I, I thank all the participants from different universities and institutions and our uh, university for attending this iSTEM event. Uh, thank you all. I thank everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you, sir. Thank you.